I am Dr. Dixit and I am a cardiac surgeon at Astro CMI Hospital, Bangalore. In fact, I moved to this hospital about seven, eight months back. Prior to coming to this hospital, I was working as the Director of Heart Foundation, Professor Head of the Department of Cardiac Surgery, as well as a Chief Cardiac Surgeon at Kaleo Hospital, Belgaum. Before coming here, I had performed more than 20,000 open heart surgeries, which included pediatrics, valve surgeries, replacements, repairs, coronary artery bypass surgeries, and other cardiac surgeries. I've been a teacher for MCS students as well as DNB cardiac students, and also an examiner for all these students. My moving to Astro CMI Hospital was with the uh, one intention of performing more surgeries and going into for uh, heart failure surgical treatments or for heart transplants. Having moved here, uh, we have now done more than 300 cases in the last five months, which included uh, pediatrics, neonates, valves, bypass surgeries, and other interesting surgeries. Uh, to name a few of them, little complex surgeries have been performed here. The youngest child I have operated here is about 2.2 kilos, who had a hole in the heart. And uh, quite some interesting cases we have performed here. Recently, we did a very interesting case. Uh, a lady of 38 years old came to us with a history of breathlessness. She was so breathless that even she couldn't sit or she couldn't lie down comfortably. We investigated her and on investigation we found that she had a huge tumor in one of the chambers of the heart. Now we all know that heart has got four chambers, two of them are pumping chambers. Now in one of the pumping chambers, especially on the right side, that had a huge tumor and it occupied the entire cavity of that chamber. Now, because of this, the blood flow to the lungs had hampered. And this is what was causing her severe breathlessness. A tumor was not only inside the cavity, but it had extended outside the heart as well. And it was quite a challenging case. Now, unless we removed this mechanical obstruction, she wouldn't breathe well. And we knew that she had, uh, it was a major decision whether to operate or what to do. Because of her disability, we decided to take uh, this high risk surgery. We performed this surgery on a beating heart without stopping the heart and uh, we were able to remove the entire tumor from within the cavity as well as outside the heart. Since the tumor had already involved one of the valves, we had to sacrifice that valve and replace it with an artificial valve. And then we reconstructed the whole ventricle. Luckily, the patient did well and we were able to discharge her on the eighth day. So there are many such interesting cases, which difficult cases that we are able to perform here. And this is because of a good team that we have, as well as a great support from the management as far as infrastructure and equipments are concerned. Uh, looking at the kind of work that we are doing, we are now moving forward to start the heart transplant program in our hospital. The initial inspection and other evaluation has been performed, has been done already, and we are awaiting a permission from the government authorities to start this transplant program. We are also in the verge of uh, starting robotic cardiac surgery here at Astor Hospital. 
Um, the purchase of the robotic has been finalized and uh, within four weeks the robot should be arriving at Astro CMI after which uh, cardiac surgery would be uh, completely different. We also have started a program for minimal access cardiac surgeries and we have performed quite a few of uh, valve replacements through keyhole surgeries. In all, we have a good team and uh, a blend of both experience and youth which uh, reflects in energy and because of this we have a very high percentage of success.